Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel once again. In this video, I am going to discuss about SQL scenario based interview question and answer part 55. Before moving to the problem statement, uh, I have a request to all my users. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing my channel so that you can get all my future video updates. And if you really sup uh, support my channel, you can go to the thanks section and you can contribute over there. Now let's come to the problem statement. Uh, this question has been asked in Facebook interview, uh, interview and the problem statement says, assume you have the table below containing information on Facebook user actions. Write a query to obtain the active user retention in July 2022. Output the month in numer numerical format that is one, two and three like that and the number of active users an active user is a user who has user actions like sign in, like or comment in the current month and the last month. So is an active user is the person who has done the action like sign in or like or comment in the current month as well as in the previous month. So we have for this we have uh, we have been given a user action table wherein we have the columns called user ID wherein we have different different users will be logging in and they will be doing different actions then we have event id and event type as we mentioned it will be either sign in like or comment and the event date and we have to get the uh, those number of active users for the month of july it should be in this format it should uh, if it is july it should, the month should uh, should say it's a seven and number of active users corresponding to that month so we know that an active user is a user who has actions like sign in like or comment in the current as well as in the last section uh, this this is all about the problem statement let's see how we can do this in sql server So before moving to the coding part, let's see our input table once again. So let me fire select a star from user actions. So this is our input table. Now, in the first step, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get all the user ID and the months associated in which he was active. That means either the event type was sign in or like or comment. So for that, let me uh, write the code. I'll use CTE, so with CTE, let's say underscore users as open the bracket. Here I will do, I will write select star from table name user actions where so all the legitimate or the, uh, the uh, record will be where event type event underscore type should be either should be either sign in or uh, um, uh, 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 like sorry or it should be comment So here what all things we need uh, we need user id so i am going to replace this star with user id so users underscore id and we want the month associated month so from from this event date i'll extract the month so we have the function uh, month function wherein we will supply the event underscore date and this will fetch me the date it will extract sorry uh, it will fetch me the month from this day uh, date so uh, this so let me run this let me see what we are getting so we got all the user id and the associated month so let me do one thing this is that all the reputation is there right so what we want we want to remove all the reputation so we'll do group by group by user id and the month event date
and we'll, let's say we'll give areas as months okay now let me run this part so you got the user id and the associated month right uh, where the uh, event type is sign in like or comment so we got the first part now let me do second part so we'll start the second part with the another cte uh, cte underscore let's say active users users as now here what i'm going to do i'm going to do a self join select a star from this table and i'm going to give alias as say let's say a and then i'm going to join with this table itself and we'll give alias as b and i'm going to join on the table on the condition a dot user id is equal to b dot user id and we want this active user we have to find for the month of july so what we'll do b dot months and sorry b dot months is equal to 7 let me select what all we need to display so we need to display a dot user id comma uh, b dot months let's say this is the current months july month b months and this uh, a dot months is the previous month as let's say months underscore one let's see what result we are getting now select star from ct underscore active underscore users now you see that in the current month we have uh, all this july month because i have already filtered over here you can see b dot b dot month equal to seven and in the previous months we have fifth month we have six months like that but we have to uh, check only the previous month that is the sixth month so we'll add another condition over here and and b uh, a dot months a dot months should be equal to b dot months minus one right sorry we have to place this inside this bracket now let me run now you can see that we have all the uh, user id and the months and the previous months now the job is very easy now what we have to do we have to simply we have to select user id in the over here and then no i, I don't think we need user id we need months from ct underscore active users and we need the count count of user id and then i'm going to group by months and this count will be our uh, monthly underscore active underscore users so this is our requirement right so now if i run this full piece of code here you go we got the numerical months and the number of active users that is two so that's all for this video if you have liked my video please do give thumbs up and if you have not subscribed my channel please do consider subscribing my channel and if you really like my channel and want to support please go to the thanks section and you can contribute whatever you feel like thank you and thanks for watching